So, welcome to the metal shop. A little uh, light in here today, my friends. Uh, light meaning my motorcycle is gone. <clears throat> I sold it, which is good and bad. I'm kind of sad that I sold it. I'm kind of sad what I got for it. Probably $1,500 less than it was worth, in my opinion. But you know, you can't get out of it what you put into it. People don't want to pay extra for accessories, so... It's a necessity to sell it to fund the project. So the proceeds will go directly to TKO 600 transmission, clutch, bell housing, hydraulic slave, uh, shifter, shift boot, you know, the shift lever arm, drive shaft, everything soup to nuts. The sale of the motorcycle will fund that. What else we got going on today? A little bit of dress up today. Put this radiator cover here that's a mustang part meant for a three row radiator it comes chrome you guys know me don't like chrome chrome won't get you home so i brushed that with a scotch bright pad like a 3m scotch pad red pad there to give it a brush look kind of just cleans up the appearance makes the radiator look a lot less cheap i did buy those uh shelby letters that you see right there um with the intent, you know, maybe I could do S-H-E-L-B-Y, kind of spread out nice there. I, I don't know, that might look a little cheesy. I did it on my Mustang, I put, you know, Celine Mustang on there, so I guess we'll see on that. So, I'm getting ready to put the new diff cover on now. I have all the bolts removed, just getting ready to pry that open with a, a blade, with a putty knife, something like that. I'm getting ready to endure the smell of that and we're going to go with this cast piece here now this is a direct copy of you know the ta performance makes them for pretty much anybody but they're sell for 150 to 250 dollars this is a cheapy ebay it's it's cast aluminum you get the casting is it's definitely not as nice as the ta piece that they copied you know you can see some there's some imperfections here and it's just not as crisp and clean you know, that TA piece, like the one I have on the, the Mustang, is just perfect. I put the Cobra logo there. That's directly from the 93 Cobra, which I've always, I just always really liked that emblem that goes on the rear deck. Fits here perfectly. I was going to have a plate made, you know, engraved plate made that said Cobra shall be on it. Or, you know, I could have had this engraved itself, but just did decide not to go that way. They give you longer bolts, which are Allen head. Um, due to the thickness of the cover, and they have to kind of, they have to fit into that recess there. Um, I did figure out I'm gonna need one longer bolt to hold on the, the brake distribution block bolts to the top here, so I'm gonna have to have one traditional bolt for that, shouldn't be a big deal. I do have the lube locker um, gasket, the one time you don't use any kind of no sealant no nothing this is a reusable gasket these things are really cool they're hard and they have kind of that rubber lip on them it's kind of what every it seems like that's what what the industry is going to with that so i'm going to use that gasket and not the cheapy paper gasket that you got to use all the rtv with and everything else so uh i'm not gonna take you along for the ride of prying that off you've seen that a bajillion times like me on all those car shows and uh, without snow vision, you're really not going to appreciate the experience. So let's uh, get this going. Okay, so that really wasn't too bad. I actually pried from the top, started dripping real slow, went down to the side, pried a little bit with a screwdriver, got the fluid all to dump out, all right in the bucket, nice and clean. Nice as it was nice, you know, nice clean fluid. I suppose I could reuse it, I'm not going to. I have nice royal purple. It doesn't smell that bad, and I'm guessing that's because Judging from the quality of this kit and everything else that I've experienced, I'm sure they didn't put any friction modifier in there. So what they want you to do is, now you can, this has a fill plug at the top here. They want you to add fluid in here. Um, they, what they want you to do is they want you to take the, the, the regular fill plug here out, fill from the top of the new diff cover, and when it starts pouring out of here, 
then you know it's full. So, I mean, that seems like, this has a drain plug too, obviously, that they normally don't have. That seems like quite a bit of, I've, I've done tons and tons of research, and I believe it's two quarts. I'm just gonna pump in the two quarts. And I'm not gonna be too careful about it, you know, leaving some in the jugs. Um, so then I can add the little bottle of friction modifier, which is it's less than three ounces. So I'm just gonna do that, and I think we'll be all set. If I don't believe that will be over full in any way, shape, or form, and I'm not gonna, I'm really not gonna dink around with undoing the factory drain plug over there. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Let's see how it goes. All right, so, sorry, can't really see that very well. Uh, those of you who know probably saw from the first shot there that uh, I put the Cobra sticker decal, hoisson, emblem, whatever you want to call it, on upside down. <laughs> Which I figured out very quickly when you realize that this cutout here has to obviously go around the ring gear. Got a nice little surprise when I was in there as well. Ring gear stamp 308. And street beasts, or street leasts, as I like to call them, clearly states in their literature that you're going to get a Mustang 8.8 .8 differential with a 355 or greater rear end gear. Guess they figured 308 was close enough. Uh, no big deal, anyway, because I'm running a standard transmission, which I mentioned earlier. I'm going to do the TKO 600. Anyway, got that in. Got these little feet, these little pressure, I don't know, put these right up against the carrier in there. And they want five foot-pounds of torque, which is pretty hard to dial in, so I use my inch-pound. And even on the inch-pounds, obviously that's uh, 60 inch-pounds, the lowest setting is 120, but you can turn the, uh, you can turn it, where is it, I have it right here. You can turn it, you can turn your uh, torque wrench so that it just so it starts to engage, and it's roughly half or three quarters of that 120 lowest reading. So anyway, got it close, tighten up those little, little feet there, and snug down the, the jam nut. Uh, the gasket worked great. You know, it was just a problem, you know, getting it started. You had to get a couple bolts on there, um, and so on. So to get the gasket to hang right. I had one of these, it's missing from the kit here, but this is a pump, to pump the fluid from the bottles, the, the uh, 75 W90 Royal Purple bottles in through the fill, which is up here, um, because there's just no way you can get to it. With this car with the gas tank right there, there's just, there's just no way. <laughs> um, so it did, I cleaned up quite a bit. Looked like a Royal Purple crime scene around here a little bit. Um, you know, there was some, some metal flakes in the, the super clean gear oil that I took out too, which is, you know, a little bit troublesome. I mean, it's natural. You're going to have some sacrificed metal from, from all the moving parts. It wasn't like, you know, it was gritty, but there was, you could see some on the, when I shine my flashlight on it. So anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for this week. So we got the diff cover. That was a huge pain. You know, you try and do it in your nice, clean garage and you think it's going to be easy and clean. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Had to take off the sway bar just on one side, but that's just a nightmare. These things, these old bolts, and there's a captured nut in there, but the problem is you drive the, the bolt to get to the captured nut side and it kind of bungs up the threads, doesn't want to catch. I mean, if I ever have to remove this thing again, I'm I'm gonna to have to buy just a new one. This is my hard-headedness for wanting to use the captured nuts and these nice flange bolts straight from Ford where, you know, I could get just a 7 16 bolt and a washer and an actual nut behind it and stick a wrench under there and be done with it. I'm also buying off of Pete's Garage, check them out on YouTube, the, the roll bar, his stock roll bar for the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut that there's the roll bar there. I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna modify it. It's not gonna stick up through the deck. It's gonna stay, obviously on the passenger side, it's gonna stay underneath, just so I have a point to hook my five point racing belt to. And it's gonna be rugged. Um, I can't abide with another roll bar sticking through. It just, it looks terrible. I just won't have it. But I will put 
that there for a five point harness protection for my rear passenger. All right, my friends, as always, thanks for watching. I started test fitting up. Got to build these lines here. I've been putting that off because I think it's kind of a crap job. Still got one wheel to sand down there. So those my friends, appreciate your support. The Cobra videos aren't getting a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of views. Um, I think the most I got is in the 30s. So, I mean, tell me, please tell me if, if you don't like the Cobra videos, you know, like more Explorer, more Jeep. I can't do Jeep because the Jeep is gone. Uh, but uh, please let me know what, uh, what you think about the content here. Is it because I'm not really giving you the hands-on, showing you, you know, me turning wrenches or spilling gear all over the place and just talking about it? Just please give me some feedback. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, I do appreciate your support. Please give me a subscribe. Please give me a like. Share my videos with your friends if you are so inclined. All right, take care, my friends. Bye-bye.